Happy Zen Day to you all. I hope you're enjoying your day so far, having yourself a wonderful time. Today, we are going over another interaction on our Let Amulis Pop the Balloon or Find Love. As usual, I will place the link to the entire, to the full video in the description so you can go over there and show your love and show your respect and watch it for yourself so you can have your own interpretation and your own views yes yes so without further ado guys please remember go ahead and hit the like and hit the subscribe and we will commence in this interaction Pop the balloon or find love. It's Arlette Amuli. Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? How you doing? My name Ma. What was it? Ma. Mog? Ma. Like you going to the mall. Oh, mall. Okay, yeah. okay, thank you. <laughs> and how old are you? 29. And what do you do? I work at a broker dealer as an uh, employee conduct officer. Okay, cool. Uh, what are some things you like to do for fun? For fun, I'm about, I like playing basketball, going out, sightseeing. I love food, so I like going out to eat, you know, shit like that. Uh -huh. And I like hanging out with friends. Okay, nice. Yeah. Uh, what are some things you look for in a woman? In a woman, I like my woman kind, sweet. Of course, she got to be fine as hell. <laughs> I like my woman that look good. And then also, then she take care of her health. Okay. You feel me? She eat the right shit. She go to the gym. She take care of her body. I like that. Okay. And now, what are some of your deal breakers? My deal breakers? Just, uh... A mean, a mean woman, a woman who always angry, who got anger issues, and I also don't like, like a sense of entitlement. Mm -hmm. Like, I, if I feel like you entitled in any type of area, though, I'm, I'm not gonna like it's going, it's gonna make me want to not want to be around you. Okay. So yeah, it's like stuff like that. I think this man made a good impression of himself initially on this one. He exed out angry women. <laughs> That's a lot of women right there. He ex out women who are entitled. He ex out women who don't eat healthy and women who don't take priority over their health. But let's see how the ladies respond. Let's go. All right, so we haven't got any pop balloons yet. Okay. You're the first of this episode, I'll tell you that. Really? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So with that being said, I'm actually going to switch it on over to you. There are okay. quite a few girls. So for the first round, I'm going to have you pop three balloons. Three balloons? Three balloons Bye. based off of what you're seeing. Whoever doesn't really fall right into your type. So okay. let me give you a pick. All right. There you go. And then go ahead and pop those three. Shit, it's tough. <laughs> okay, two more. And one more. One more. Okay, since we're here, we'll start here first. All right. All right, if we can have your name and age. My name is Renee. I'm 25. And Renee, why did you have your balloon unpopped? So I, I like your accent. Where are you from? I'm from Philly. I like your accent. Thank um, you. I like your outfit today. Thank you. Um, you're not my initial type because of the height, but like I oh, said, well. I did like the things that you were saying. I like your accent. Very handsome. Appreciate it. Thank you're you. Thank welcome. you. All right. So why did we end up popping her balloon? Uh, just just not really my type for real. Okay. You feel me? That's really it though. Okay. Yeah. So what makes her not really your usual type? Um, she's a little more on the taller side. That's a <laughs> yeah, right, right. All right, thank you. And then we did pop two more. Let's start over here. Your name and age. I'm Kay. I'm 27. Okay, and Kay, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Um, he just wasn't ugly. <laughs> I liked I liked what he was talking about. Um, yeah. Okay, nice. So now, why did we end up popping hers? Honestly, she looked good, but I don't like chest tats. Respect it. Hey. I appreciate that, though. No problem. Did pop one more down here. Your name and age, and why did you have your balloon unpopped? Hello, Kia, twenty nine. I good. How are you? I'm good. I couldn't really hear what you were saying, so I was just giving you opportunity to, to hear a little bit more. Okay. Okay, but is he your usual type? Um. Um. He looks like my cousin. Shout out to my cousin TJ. Hey. <laughs> but. We Man. 
hell hath no fury like a woman rejected. Oh boy. We're an attractive family, so you're not. Yeah. Okay, okay. So why do we end up popping hers? Uh, she looked good. I just ain't like the glitter around her chest. Oh my God, I had that. Somebody has told me that before. I was like, wow, that's very, but I respect it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, somebody else liked it earlier. Exactly. They love my glitter, you know. (laughs) I respect it. Nice meeting you. No problem, you too. Ooh, okay. Who popped? Who popped? Who popped? It was right here. Look at me walking past you. Your name and age, and why did you end up popping your balloon? My name is Kamina27. It's just a glitter comment because I love glitter. Like, I was actually going to wear some around my chest, but I And how stupid can you be? You are not wearing glitter. Most men don't like glitter. It is childish. It is stupid. And he made a comment that he doesn't like the glitter that the lady is wearing. But because you like glitter and you were going to like, you were going to wear glitter, you chose to pop your balloon. Man, these ladies are as stupid as a doornail. Dumb as a doornail. Let's go. Just did it because I didn't have time, but. <laughs> right. Yeah, I love glitter. <laughs> oh, okay, but is he someone that is your type? Yeah, he's very handsome, well-groomed. I love the way he dressed. The watch is nice. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So is she your type? No, yeah, she look good. Yeah, I like a little chocolate woman. Thank you. <laughs> but I ain't, ain't going to lie to you. I don't like the bangs hairstyle. Like, I want to see more of your face. Oh, really? I yeah. just decided to do this hairstyle to try something new. So usually yeah. I don't have bangs, but. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's head on back. All right. So for our remaining ladies, I'm going to go ahead and have you ask them a question, help you narrow it down. Okay. Uh, what's your boundaries in a relationship? Boundaries in a relationship. Okay, let's start down there. We always start here. Right. We'll go over there first. Uh-huh, you're first. <laughs> your name and age, and what's your boundaries in a relationship? Let me think. Um, my name is Christina. I'm 24. How you doing? I say my boundaries is, like, just overbearing and, like, don't know when to, like, give space. Okay. That's, yeah. Okay. Good? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> your name, age, and what are your boundaries? My name is Carrington. I'm 26. Um, I have quite a few, actually. Oh, yeah, okay. um, so one is arguing. I don't like arguing. We can discuss all day long, um, but yelling or being disrespectful, I'm yeah. not okay with that. Yeah. Um, so that's for one. Um, <clears throat> there's quite a few. I don't – I'm trying to figure out how to word some of them. So, uh, Take your time. That's, that's really my biggest one right now. Like I said, I'm in a place where I can't – any form of abuse at all. Um See, I do not do any type of infidelity situations. Uh, if it has to do with a woman, you can have it. Um, I deal with a lot of other stuff. It's fine. Relation- Once again, guys, let me bring you back for a second and enlighten your mind. She says one of her, one of her boundaries is arguing, right? And this is how you understand the mindset of a lot of ladies. She says... One of her boundaries or red flags is arguing. And then she went on to say she's in a space where she cannot take any form of abuse. What she has done in that statement, that line of conversation is equating arguing to abuse. And arguing is generally back and forth. But when she speaks of it as abuse, what she's saying is, if you raise your voice, if you you hold a strong opinion that she's opposed to, you are thenceforth emotionally abusing her. Come on, guys. You have to be thinking when you're watching these things and understand the importance of the unsaid things reading between the lines so to speak relationships go through things women is not a thing that i will go through Congrats, um, you know there's probably a plethora of more but those are my top two right now yeah. Yeah. Sure. All right, but... yeah. your name and age and what are your boundaries in a relationship hi i'm d i'm 27 i'm also from philly for real yeah what part? <laughs> 
I live in Collindale. Not Philly, Philly, but Philly. Collin, okay. Yeah. What the hell that said? <laughs> <laughs> is that Montgomery County? Uh, Delaware County. Delaware County. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, what was the question? Sorry. Uh, what are your boundaries yeah, in a relationship? Your boundaries? Somebody that is not aware of themselves, mm. uh, and also to somebody that is not God fearing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Now, that here is another term that gets thrown out without an understanding of what being aware of yourself means. This is a term that gets thrown out a lot of times. People who are not aware of themselves. And if you press for more clarity on what does that look like, 99.99% of these women will go crickets. Because they are only repeating what is told to them on social media. They are only repeating what their friends say. They have never went inside themselves to say, okay, what does being self-aware looks like? And if you ask me, 99.9999% of these women are not self-aware. And these kind of programs kind of show you exactly what is meant by that. Self-aware, how you present yourself, how you can take digs at other people on how they present themselves when you are not presentable for the moment. Covering themselves in five inches of makeup that also speaks to self-awareness. Women who can't even listen to a man telling men that they want someone to lead them, but no man can tell them what to do. That speaks to self-awareness. Understanding what your strengths and your weaknesses are. What are my flaws? That is one of uh, one, that is one of the aspects of self awareness, and most women do not know what self awareness is, and they don't practice said self awareness. Let's go. Your name and age, and what are your boundaries in a relationship? Hey, I'm Tara. I'm 24 years old. How you doing? Um, good. How are you? I'm well. <laughs> um, I would say my boundaries. I don't like a man who is very like judgmental, who doesn't want to like understand if we have issues. Yeah. Um, who I don't like argumentative people like that get loud. Mm. Um, definitely nothing like physical either. Right. Um, for me personally, I do like move slower in relationships, so. Um, I like to get to know a person first, so right. um, definitely not like first week, like we're staying at each other's house and, you know, that kind you. of thing. So, hey, I yeah. understand, I understand, yeah. 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 Your name and age, and what are your boundaries in a relationship? Hello, um, I'm Ish, I'm 28, and a couple boundaries for me would be like a guy that's mean. I can't do a mean guy. I don't want no no limit soldier. Gotcha. I need somebody I soft with me. Yeah. Um, so that's really big for me. Um, another one of my boundaries will probably be uh, having autonomy. Uh, we're two individuals, even though we're in a relationship. So just respecting what one another does, like you met me in a certain way. Don't try to change me once you're with me. Mm -hmm. So that kind of thing. Uh, what are your boundaries? See, most of my boundaries, uh, I don't like a woman for like a lot of male friends. Like, I don't like all that. Like, and also, uh, it's really, I would, I, honestly, I, I got more, but I, I would have to, like, we'll get to know it more. Okay, yeah, 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 no, sure, you're so. good. All right, so, now with that being said, and, you mm -hmm. know, all the responses you've heard, you've seen them up close, all that good stuff, I am now going to have you pop two balloons. Two? Two of them. So, whenever you're ready, head on over. Let me move out the way. <laughs> Okay, and then one more. Okay, 
Let's start with this one right here. So, um, Carrington, why did you have your balloon unpopped for him? He's handsome. I like the way he talks. Um, eye contact. He gives a really masculine presence. Okay. Appreciate it. So why did we end up popping her balloon? Uh, honestly, I just like the other girls better. Okay. Fair enough. I don't recall hearing someone speaking this way in one of these encounters before. I just like the other girls better. And I think that's a fair and honest statement. I just like other people more than I like you. And I think that is a way to say it without getting into the weeds and giving social media too much to bash you for. Good work, sir. <laughs> Let's go over here. And so why did we end up uh, having our balloon unpopped? Um, I had it unpopped because I liked your energy. I liked the way you came today. You came dressed right. Yeah. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. So why did we end up popping hers? Uh, again, like I just like the other girls better. She look good though. Thank you. Sure. <laughs> okay, let's head back. So we do have three balloons left unpopped. Go ahead and ask these remaining ladies another question. Mm. Uh huh. Uh, uh, what y'all do for a living? Okay, start here. I'm an artist, so I rap, and I'm also an entrepreneur. I own a digital marketing company, and I also just purchased my first two vending machines. Oh, yeah, that's what's up. Okay. Thank you. What do you do? Uh, so, currently, I work for state government um, in IT as an application developer. Yeah. Okay. And over here, what do you do? I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a personal trainer, and I also own a salon. Okay. <laughs> oh. You look like you wanted to say more. Or are you no, I'm just thinking. Just oh, thinking. Okay. That's all. Just thinking. Okay. Like, what are we thinking about? Shit. <laughs> I know. Look, he's already thinking. Who am I going to pop? Because yeah. you know it's time. It is time to pop a balloon. Mm -hmm. All right. So to make it a little bit easier for you so you can, you know, get to know them a little bit more as well. Okay. Ladies, any questions for him? Okay. We got one down here. So when you're feeling low in your spirit, what do you normally do to uplift your spirit? Yeah, I like that question. So for me personally, what I like to do, I honestly like to go work out because it usually helps release. You understand? It helps me feel a lot better than what I'm going through in a particular moment. So whether somebody made me mad or whether I'm going through some hard or whether I'm going through some type of like stressful environment, me, for me, when I go into the gym, it kind of helped me release all that tension and energy out there like that, though. So, And then also, like, I may, I may have to call a loved one, just have, to have a, just talk about it. I may not go into detail about the situation, but I just, you know, just talk for a little bit. Then after that, I kind of get energized to go do what I need to do with So that's all. Okay. Do you have kids? No, I ain't got no kids. Yeah. I meant to ask that. You can ask that, so you want to ask her? You, can yeah. you got kids? Not yet. Not yet? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she wants him. Full stop. <laughs> okay, any questions from either one of you? Uh, yeah. Um, so what's some things that you learned from like past relationships? Well, some things I learned from past relationships. Just, uh, uh if you see the red flags, don't ignore them. Mm -hmm. Like when you see the red flags, take, you know, take, take action and then just probably dismiss yourself in the situation because it ain't, because honestly, when you try to like change people, it's it, it's just not gonna work. You understand? Them? Mm -hmm. Regardless of how, how, regardless how hard, like how you're coming off, whether your your your, your conversation could be innocent, your conversation could come off as you know, you just want to help the individual. But a lot of times they just don't see eye to eye. You understand? Yeah. So it is not. You just can't change people. So you would say you gave people like a lot of grace in like your past relationships? Uh, yeah, and I you did. Didn't, yeah, I did though. Okay. Yeah, uh huh. I did. I used to give a lot of grace. Okay. I think you want to ask your, your other question. Do you have any kids? Yeah, you got any kids? Uh, no kids yet. No kids. Yeah, no kids. Okay. <laughs> any questions here? Yes. So just for longevity purposes, how would you prioritize um, wife, mother, children? Like, how would you rank them as far as a priority? Priority? Mm -hmm. For me personally, wife got to come first. It's less wife because, like, the wife ain't straight, then the kids ain't gonna be straight. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like, I have to make sure 
she got what she need. She got what she need, then the kids, then then she could take care of the kids and all that. Though, like, yeah. So like for me personally, it's, it's God, of course. Mm-hmm. And then the husband doing what he gotta do, but then the husband gotta look tend to the wife. Then when tend to the wife, then he can tend to the kids and all that extra shit. I think this is a really interesting conversation that I would like to elaborate on a bit further. But just for context, a lot of these women want a man who more than likely was raised by a single mother to prioritize them over her. However, once they have their kids, they would not like for that son to prioritize his woman over her when she becomes mommy. I think it's an I think it's an interesting dynamic that I definitely will go into at some point in the future. However, let's continue. So, how would you your rank is wife, yeah, children? Yeah, wife. Yeah. So for me, so it starts with God. Me getting right. Yeah. Me getting right with God. Then me, and then the, the wife, and then the children. And then mommy. Then mommy. Like yeah. my mom? Yeah, that's what I asked. Like wife, I, mother, children. Yeah, How do you I prioritize mean, those? So it would, be, it would be wife, kids, then mom. Okay. Mom got to get her own nigga. Okay. <laughs> you feel me? Like, okay. Seriously. Yeah, I like this answer. Okay. And no, I don't have children. I'm a dog no, mom, though. Dog mom, but okay, okay. <laughs> All right, so I hope that made it a little easier for you now. Okay, good, good. So I am going to have you pop a balloon. (laughs) All right, so why did you have your balloon unpopped for him? Um, first of all, I love his accent. I love accents, like, all together. <laughs> like, I could just listen to him talk all day. Um, he seems like he got himself, like, really put together. He's really well-groomed. Um, I like the things he was saying. Um, he's not, like, initially my type, but I liked everything else about him. So, yeah, but he's very handsome. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. Okay. So, why do we end up popping hers? Uh, honestly, I just need to pop one, bro. <laughs> He did say he liked him like Chocolate Queens earlier, yeah, so I was yeah. going to pop after that because I want him to like have what he wants. Right, right, <laughs> but right. um, yeah, I understand. Okay. All right, cool. Can I ask another one? To the, yeah. yeah, of course. Go uh, ahead. Where y'all from? Like where y'all currently reside at? I reside in Michigan. Michigan? Yeah, the Detroit area. Oh, yeah? Not in Detroit, but around Detroit. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. And then we know, she says she's from Philly, but do you... Live there yeah. now? I'm originally from Africa, motherland, Liberia. Okay. But I live in Philly. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, unfortunate. Ooh. Okay, why do we end up popping? They seem like they would be well together since they're both from Philly. And like she said, he liked the chocolate queens. And just the look that he gave her just now, it was mm. given. <laughs> it was given, not me. So, mm. okay. All right, well, my chocolate queen, come on up here. Come on up. <laughs> All right, so any final questions between the two of you? Um, how do you, I'm um, sorry, how do you um, uplift your lady spirit when she's feeling down? How I, how I uplift my lady spirit when she's down? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, so for me personally, I, like, I try to give like positive affirmations. And if that don't work, I probably try to like maybe take you somewhere or we could probably get a workout done together just hope to build our vibe back up and you said you like working out so i like, I like that <laughs> yeah i'm straight okay well then with that being said is it gonna be a yes for you for him yes and is it a yes for you for her yeah. we got a match <laughs> well well what do you know he got himself a match and i think most of the ladies liked him and guys this goes to show presentation is important guys it's important that you present yourself in a particular way that boosts that gives you a leg up on the competition because life is a competition there are a lot of ladies who say they don't compete However, men know that life is a competition.
And if you don't compete, you get left behind. I think as men, we should start to leave a lot of these ladies behind who don't compete. But, good one for you, my guy. Um, let's see how this one goes. Yeah. Guys, please remember, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. If you like it and very much, you can go ahead and uh, share the videos. Yeah, man. I am going up in subscribers. I'm gaining like one subscriber per day. So let's see if we can get that up there, folks. Yes, and I'll be covering more of this kind of content. But let's watch this to the end. And after that, I am out. I'll take this mic and you guys can go on up. Oh, let's make some noise for them, y'all. <laughs>